Congratulations, you're halfway through the course. By this time, you already know the main proportions of the human body as well as its skeletal anatomy and major muscles. It's time to discover how to apply this knowledge to your figurative drawings. The second half of the course will show you this application. To refresh your knowledge on human body proportions, we will create a sketch of classical figure in contrapposto. This marble statue was carved by French sculptor Guillaume Cousteau in the second half of the 18th century. This figure is done in the best academical traditions and is a good example of classical body proportions. The figure stands in the contrapposto position. The word contrapposto in Italian means counterpoise. The axis of the supporting leg is not vertical, but tilted. It points to the footprint which almost coincides with the projection of the body's center of gravity to the ground. The axis of the upper leg bone is tilted even more. Two arms of the W shape, we established earlier, point to the shoulder's edges. The elbow area of the arm is on the same level as the bottom edge of the ribcage. The quadriceps muscle group defines the frontal shape of the upper leg. The adductor group of muscles gives volume to the inner upper portion of the thigh. When it comes to the main proportions of a human body, the following ratio will help you draw a standing figure. The distance from the pit of the neck to the pubic bone is equal to the distance from the frontal top edge of the pelvis to the top border of the kneecap. This distance is also the same from the top of the kneecap to the toes. Also, Keep in mind that the length of the foot is equal to the height of the head. Remember, the length of the hand from the wrist line to the tip of the middle finger is equal to the height of the face from the bottom edge of the chin to the hairline. This is an important measuring unit for the human body. The length of the hand is also equal to the length of the breastbone. It is also equal to the length of the collarbone.